I always see a lot of these videos about it came from site something, like it came from site 19. This one's it came from site 9. It's actually a haunted horror SCP, haunted horror house. It came from site 9, SCP-4153 from SCP Explained. We're going to check it out today and react to it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to SCP Explained, and let's get into this animation. It was late October of 1993, okay. and John Matthews of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina Myrtle had just Beach. scored a date with Sarah, All one right. of the most popular girls in school, cool. and he had planned the perfect night out for the two of them. Congrats, buddy. A haunted house had just been set up in town, and he, like very, many guys before him, date. figured he could use that as a chance to impress his date. He'd cuddle, already been through the attraction. You know. So he knew exactly oh, help me, help me. when to put his arm around I Sarah when one of the costume <laughs> actors or animatronics tried to speak uh -huh. them. If any of them got too close for comfort, Get a close. he might even punch them just wow. to show Sarah how brave he was. Okay. That would be a surefire way to impress any girl. Uh, However, John know. had no idea of the actor? real horror or an animatronic? for him and his day <laughs> through the doors of this seemingly normal funhouse. At first, the haunted house went as normal. John laughed at all the fake cobwebs and plastic over. skeletons, making sure Sarah knew how dumb he thought they looked. Right. He shoved away actors dressed as axe murderers and told uh -huh. them to stay away from his date. It was dark, so they couldn't really see each other's faces. All right. But John guessed that Sarah was probably really impressed. Uh, <laughs> all in all, the date was guessed. going well until they got to a room that John hadn't seen the first time he'd been through. Okay. It seemed like it had been added overnight, but at the same time, uh, it didn't mesh with the theme. I the feel theme of the haunted house this year was Cannibal Hotel. Cannibal Hotel. But this room looked more like Dracula's castle, All right. complete with actors dressed as Frankenstein, the Wolfman, and Dracula actors? himself. <laughs> One of them was even a dead ringer for the actor Vincent Price. Okay. John and Sarah watched, confused, as the actors performed their routines, which, just like their surroundings, seemed out of place. Okay. It was total hackneyed, full of lame puns and very basic scares. Okay. Though the special effects were undeniably impressive. When John and Sarah they walked through monsters? the room, the actor dressed as Dracula stood in front of John and started pretending to hypnotize him. All right. Up close, he did look a lot like Bella Lugosi, the <laughs> actor who'd portrayed the Count during his first big screen appearance. Interesting. This definitely threw John off a little. Right. But unfortunately, this Dracula didn't have Lugosi's acting talents. Okay. <laughs> you are under my control. Dracula said, waving his fingers at John and staring at him. John, getting really sick of this, pushed the guy out of the way to move on to move the next it, move room. It, <laughs> and when he did, he felt that something was really, really wrong here. Okay. He practically dragged Sarah away from watching the Wolfman transform and ran the rest of the way through the house. Out all of his house. bravado now gone. Right. Sarah asked her date what was wrong. And he didn't tell Cold her. Skin? How could he without sounding crazy? When he had touched that actor playing Dracula, something hadn't felt right. Even through his suit and cape, John had been able to tell that something was wrong. He okay. was cold and rigid, yeah. not like a human being, like a but like a robot or a wax dummy. Uh -huh. This is just one of like multiple complaints from Halloween attractions around the United man. States that prompted the action of the SCP Foundation. Okay. Several witnesses described either seeing people that resembled classic movie monsters or living yeah, wax models classic. of those monsters appearing in various haunted Freddy. houses, corn <laughs> mazes, carnivals, not and really strip no, malls across classic, the country. Man. The Foundation has designated this troop of hammy wax actors SCP-4153. During actors. performances, SCP-4153 used wax to alter their appearance, produce props, including uh, fake blood and gore, and even manipulate wax objects from afar. Okay. While this results in some uncanny special effects, the content of the performances tend to be pretty standard classic haunted house fare. Interesting. They mostly do things like reenacting scenes from classic so horror just films and telling wax. spooky jokes with a little fake blood here right. and there. When the Foundation arrived at the Myrtle Beach attraction, they apprehended the various wax characters uh -huh. and determined that their eerie resemblance to the classic horror characters wasn't just makeup. Okay. After the horrors some of these Foundation employees had seen on the job, living wax models of Frankenstein's monster and Dracula seemed almost cute in comparison, models. and the troop of wax actors were taken to Site 9 for questioning and containment. Okay. The first member of the <laughs> troop to willingly? be interviewed on site was Dracula. Dubbed SCP-4153-017 by the Foundation, <laughs> he was interviewed by Agent Timothy West, okay. who was totally unimpressed with Dracula's shtick. 
He tried oh, to hypnotize God. Agent West, an act which he flatly refused to indulge in. <laughs> Dracula provided the agent with out, seemingly bro. no useful information, right. only responding to questions with cliches like, we were all dead the whole time, <laughs> and the log was coming from inside the house. Oh, the next God, wax figure dude. to be interrogated was Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, yeah. aka SCP-4153-015. Who was interviewed uh, by Agent Samantha Henwick. Much like how SCP-4153-017 stayed fully in character as Dracula during his interview, SCP-4153-015 seemed to Boris. really believe that he was actor Boris oh, Karloff, he actually who played Frankenstein's like monster in the 1930s. Right. The SCP spoke in an exact imitation of Karloff's voice and speech patterns, wow. and talked to Agent Henwick as if she was another actor on a movie set. Huh. He talked about how honored he was to be part of the project, and asked, Are we rolling? when he noticed the conversation was being recorded. <laughs> Agent Henwick responded to the SCP's yes. comments with confusion, a fact which he took to mean that she was staying in character. Like oh, a true actor, gosh. he took a moment to prepare himself before pulling his own head off much to the horror what of Agent the Henry. Heck, the dude? last and probably most interesting of the interviews conducted in 1993 was with the one? wax figure who resembled Vincent Price. More specifically, Vincent Price in his role as Henry Jared in 1953's House of Wax, okay. a movie about a mad sculptor who made wax figures out of the corpses of his victims. Oh my. This wax figure was designated SCP-4153-036. It was interviewed by Agent Gerald Penn. Creepy, Penn started the interview with a simple question. Why do you try to frighten people? SCP-4153-036 had an equally simple answer. Superhero Why does still. anyone try to frighten? It's fun to be frightened. Almost like as much fun as it is to do the frightening. Yeah. Penn was skeptical, pointing out that the I wax mean, figure's act wasn't especially is frightening. Fun. The SCP laughed dismissively, telling Penn to have some respect for the classics. <laughs> Penn was still not having any of it. Right. He had been with the SCP Foundation for 20 years at this point. He's and he'd seen enough death. real horror that the so-called classics had no effect right. on him whatsoever. He pressured Price I mean, the classics answers, were a few jokes. But instead of responding stuff, with a straight but... answer, Price launched into a speech about his feelings on monsters. Okay. He said, You'll call any oaf with a steak knife hunting gaggles of scenes <laughs> a monster these days. There's no wit, no humor, no charm. They're, Where's the they're passion, scary. The artisanship. Because Where's the sense of theater? Would you like to know, you know something peculiar? I've almost happen, never played well, a monster. Or I've Ortiz, played villains, most certainly, but not monsters. Only accident. men besieged by fate, driven to revenge. Still, I've always had a fondness for them. Even as a child, Man. I sympathize more with the monster. You need to talk to hero. Too Spooky, bro. <laughs> Agent Penn, who they at can this get point, along pretty good really without destroying tired the of world. all the theatrics, started to interject. But when he opened his mouth to speak, he was only able to get a few words out before his tongue went numb and rigid in oh. his mouth. He could no longer move it. Agent okay. Penn tried to speak, got but his tongue was too solid and heavy to do anything what more than knock heck, uselessly dude? against his bottom teeth. He felt something dislodge inside oh. his mouth, and he hoped maybe it was the feeling of his oh, tongue being freed no, from whatever spell the SCP came had came out under. But then he started to feel a tearing and a sticky heaviness in his bottom oh jaw. My God. Agent Penn reached up and felt around inside his mouth. He started to scream indistinctly when he realized to his horror oh, that his tongue had no. ripped off. He pulled it out of his mouth, and when he held it in his hand, his fears were confirmed. Somehow it had imagine? become nothing more than a lump of pink wax. Now wax. completely tongueless, Agent Penn continued to babble frantically, <laughs> no doubt trying to curse at the wax Can't creature really sitting enunciate in front much of him. SCP-4153-036 finally paid attention to his interviewer's distress at this point. Uh -huh. He turned to Agent Penn uh -huh. with a look of disapproval and disappointment and said, Oh dear, your tongue seems to have gotten away from you there. Here, allow me. The SCP leaned towards Agent Penn, and though the agent wanted to resist, he found that he could no longer move his arms. Wow. In fact, his whole body had gone numb and rigid. So he just has like the ability the to create? Time. The only movement he was capable of was opening his mouth, and the wax facsimile of Vincent Price started molding his tongue back to the proper oh, shape. He fixed it. reattached it inside Agent Penn's mouth. Then he's gonna... Agent Penn whimpered, unable to do Unwaxing? anything while the SCP's hands were in his mouth. The creature uh. said, Hush now, I warned you about this. I told you that you mustn't disturb the wax before it hardens. That is a crucial part of the process. Wow. It needs to solidify. 
Otherwise, you risk disturbing the performance. Huh. By the time his tongue was reattached and resealed, Agent Penn was on the verge of tears. He gurgled, gasping for air, wiggling his tongue around in his mouth to make sure that it worked. The SCP returned to his seat, pleased with his own handiwork. <laughs> splendid, splendid. Good as new. Good as new. Now, let's take it from the top, shall we? Agent Penn took a deep breath, steadying himself as SCP-4153-036 whispered the word, Action! Penn resumed the interview with the same simple question. Why do you try to frighten people? SCP-4153-036 <laughs> gave weird. the same simple answer. Why does anyone try to frighten? It's fun to be frightened. Almost as much fun as it is to do That's the frightening. That's crazy, The interview dude. continued for only a few minutes longer, with both parties repeating only things they'd said earlier in the yeah. recording. The like log ends with SCP-4153-036 once again saying, have some classics. respect for the classics. What? Not long after the interview concluded, oh. Foundation management completely lost contact with Site-9. A uh -huh. mobile task force was sent in to investigate so the cause the of this loss of contact. And on arrival, they been... found a catastrophic wow. containment breach. Not a single member of on-site personnel was found alive. Right. And strangely, all of their bodies seemed to be coated wax. in wax. Further examination revealed that this initial observation wasn't the case at all. They weren't they just were coated in wax. wax. No, every they member of the Site-9 team wax. had all of their major organs, including their skin, surgically extracted and replaced with sculpted wax. Right. Of course, this was assumed to be the doing of SCP-4153. Naturally. But oddly, all of the autopsies suggested that the removal of organs had happened weeks before the apprehension of SCP-4153. I'm sorry, Even what? though all of the on-site personnel had seemed alive and well right up until the containment Outside of being replaced by wax, no damage was done to the bodies. It seemed that everyone had just dropped dead at the that same has to time. Be there was one body that was anomaly. different, though. That of Agent Gerald Penn. Agent Penn's decapitated body was found in the same containment cell that had been used for SCP-4153-036. Next to the body was a photograph showing SCP-4153-036 holding up Agent Penn's screaming head and on the back, a single oh, sentence was from written. One horror, from one horror aficionado aficionado to another. another. Always, Always stay, stay ahead. ahead. Oh, what a cliche All the SCP-4153 instances remain They're unaccounted missing. for. And MTF IOTA-10, also known as the Damn Feds, continue to monitor for new sightings and reports uh -huh. of activity that may so be linked MTF to the wax troop. Hopefully one day, they'll be taken into Foundation custody and them. contained. And maybe all it will take is for them to meet someone with a sufficient appreciation for the classics. I mean, they took out a whole site, dude. That deserves an MTF designation, huh? Wow. Who saw that coming? <laughs> it looked like like too spooky you know what i'm the scp that, that that thinks he's scaring people with all these classic horror movies and stuff i think they would get along pretty well although <laughs> i changed my thought and probably very very dangerous for them to get together at any rate guys this was really good make sure to check out scp explained and a couple of other videos that i reacted to from them thanks so much for watching as always this is Lugan signing off we'll see you next time Break it down.